What's special about Homer Rice or Dr. Homer Rice or Coach Rice? He's a man of tremendous integrity. He's a man of tremendous faith. I think about him as somebody who models what he teaches. He models positivity. He values education. He's been a great supporter of uh, history and sociology students through the years. He helps people to support great projects that show how we can be much bigger when we come together. I saw his remarkable success in this when I looked at the fundraising he had done for Georgia Tech. When Homer arrived at Georgia Tech to be the athletic director, the athletic department was really stressed financially. Under Homer's leadership, he put us back on the right track through his influence, his relationships. He was able to raise money to uh, build the Edge Center, redo the stadium, redo the Thriller Dome, as we called it then, the Alexander Memorial Coliseum, and just a number of uh, just renovations and upgrades of the entire physical plant here. When I became chair, I had been aware of scholarships that Homer provided for our graduate students. And what had impressed me about his granting of this award is it was not just for scholarly excellence. He wanted a person who contributed beyond the classroom and particularly to the welfare of the group. And we've tried to live by that. When I think about describing the Sports Society and Technology Program at Georgia Tech, I actually first think of the Ivan Allen College and the motto of innovation at the crossroads of the humanities, social sciences, and technology. And we've put our own unique twist on that. It's unique because there's no other program in the country that emphasizes the study of sports in the liberal arts. And so I think our students are uniquely advantaged because they're looking at sports in a whole new light. They're being challenged to think about sports in critical ways and to examine the world of sports not just as consumers and as fans but as concerned citizens. Homer started what we call the Total Person Program and it's all about uh, having a positive attitude. Teamwork really makes the dream work. Uh, those are two of the key things a part of the Total Person Program. The Total Person concept is uh, let's be successful in every area of our life. Let's strive for success. But let's talk about uh, having a positive self-image, believing in ourselves, having confidence. The Total Person Program was the expression of his values and of values that all of us could share. That what we're about as academics is making society better and at the same time we become better as academics when we are total people. The Total Person Program today is not unique to Georgia Tech. The NCAA and the powers to be saw the impact that it had on Georgia Tech and now through a program called CHAMPS, it exists in most uh, Division I colleges across the land. There's always going to be a certain mystery about how Homer is able to so quietly pull people into his orbit. People who I've met and who have spent years, decades with him, they adore Homer Rice. I appreciate the generosity of spirit that Homer has, giving of his time, giving of his financial resources, building relationships with students and with the community at Georgia Tech. When you have integrity, people trust you. When you have trust, you can build relationships. And that's what Homer Rice is all about. There would be no sports or science technology program without Dr. Homer Rice. This was his vision. And I think it's fitting that it's in the Ivan Allen College of Liberal Arts because it also reflects the vision for Ivan Allen Jr., who was key in bringing professional sports to Atlanta. In our classes, students learn about economic justice, politics, issues of equality, gender, race, immigration, labor. These are serious issues that we look at in our classes, and it's because of Homer Rice that we take these issues seriously. Homer, I want to congratulate you on receiving the Dean's Appreciation Award. This is quite an honor. It really recognizes your incredible service, dedication, and contributions to both Georgia Tech and the Ivan Allen College. Nobody deserves it more than you. I'm proud to have had the opportunity to work with you, to know you, and call you a friend. I couldn't be happier to see you recognized in this way. And the only thing I have to say is, we still need to have that tennis match. <laughs>